Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you how I blow dry my short bob. Um, and so I'm going to do that for you right now while it's still damp. It's not soaking wet, but it's damp. And I'm going to blow dry it and put a tongue through it. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's get straight into it. Before we do, just make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and hit me up on Instagram at Annette Melton or you can follow my beauty channel at Melty Beauty. Let's begin! Also, I forgot to mention, um, my hair is damp, but I did put in some Bumble and Bumble pre-blow dry kind of hair cream, so that's in my hair at the moment. dried the first section now picking up my GHD my hair straightener so I'm just straightening the ends because see how they kind of kick in a bit cool don't need to be too perfect with it now just unraveling that top piece keeping the center piece and just Flipping that back. And we're going to blow dry this next section. So I should show you guys my blow dryer settings. So if I flick it on. I've got the fan on one and the heat on three. wearing off so I'm just touching up the root here and finally this top clip have my part a little off center so the center's there I'm over here but I don't like a deep part but I do have a cow's leg but I force it to be here instead of here so again I'm just smoothing out my roots now if I'm traveling I'd usually just stick with my GHD but because I'm home I'm going to use this sized barrel first of all I'm going to apply some of this Evo Salty Dog Salt Spray You're not supposed to put this in keratin hair but whatevs I love the scent I love what it does to my hair just gives it a bit of hold a bit of texture and it smells yummy if I don't use that spray, then I use my Way Wave Spray. This one also smells delicious. It smells like roses and it works just as well. So I'm just working that in, making sure it's not damp when I go to curl my hair. Okay, so this is what my hair currently looks like after blow drying and tweaking the ends and the roots of my hair with my GHD. So picking up my ceramic Babyless Pro 
curling tong. I am going to now go in and style my hair. And because my hair is so flat, I'm going to first of all grab the piece closest to my part and just hold it here just for a couple of seconds and see how it just gives you a bit of lift. Same on the other side. So what I'm going to do is grab my tongue, grab this front piece, angle my tongue down that way, wrap it around underneath, being careful not to kink my hair, hold it for a few, leave the end out, slide it out. So there you can see it kind of just wraps a little. So it's more like a wave. Grab the next section, do the same thing. Under, wrap it around, leave the end out. Hold it for a few. all the heat styling I am going to go in with my oomph my locks double XL volume spray from Batiste stylist I love this stuff so you just spray it in your roots this gives your hair a bit of grit which holds a bit of volume but it feels like a dry shampoo like just a powder So if you have really fine or silky hair when you first wash it and you want that dirty feel without it being dirty, <coughs> don't breathe it in too much though, then you use this stuff, it's great. So this is it guys, I just flipped my hair to the side zhuzhed it with my hands a little. I can add a little spray if I want to for extra hold but I kind of like it as it progresses throughout the day because it'll drop a little bit and look a little more relaxed but for right now this is fine. Um, I hope you like the way I've styled it. This is kind of how I like my short hair to be, a little more carefree. I'm not too worried about the little kinks here and there. Um, but yeah I've got volume if you can see so look at it it's a bit bleh. but like I said it'll drop throughout the day so I'm not too worried about those pieces so much and if I really am worried then I can always just grab my tongue and just like direction them down 
well back in so they're not kind of poking out like that. So that's it guys, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you like it as much as I love wearing it. Um, this is what I do every time I uh, need to wash my hair and style it and have it ready for an event or if I'm going out and I need to look a little bit more put together. So yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you're loving the length that I've cut it to. I hope this gives you inspiration. If you want to cut your hair or if you're thinking about it, just do it. Just remember hair grows back. It's no big deal. And if you're scared to cut your hair, then why don't you cut it to just below your shoulders and then go to shoulder length. Go to where I have it, just above your shoulders. And if you want to, I had it cut at chin level and I've also in the past gone for a whole pixie cut. Um, if you want to flick through my showreel and have a look at my past pixie cut, you can do that as well. That's up on my website, AnnetteMelton.com. But yeah, if you liked this video, if you found value in it, or if you just want to support me, you can always subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up. Leave any comments or any questions below the video and I will answer them for you. And you can also find me on my Facebook, Annette Official, or on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you in the next video.